installment six in my geologic time scale series, the Carboniferous. The Carboniferous period lasted 359 to 299 million years ago. It's often divided into two smaller periods, the Mississippian, which lasted 359 to 323 million years ago, and the Pennsylvanian, which lasted 323 to 299 million years ago. In the ocean during the Carboniferous period, sharks became the dominant marine group, and they started becoming more common in freshwater as well. But the real dominator of freshwater was the Rhizodus, the largest freshwater fish ever. It grew up to 23 feet or 7 meters long, and that just belongs in a river monsters episode. Also, it was a lobe-finned fish, meaning it could have possibly come to land because of its limb-like fins. It probably couldn't come on land for long, but still, that's kind of terrifying. Also inhabiting the water were the amphibians, which grew to the size of crocodiles. The amphibians were also pretty dominant on land, alongside giant griffin flies, which are relatives of dragonflies, called Meganeura, which had wingspans of 2.5 feet, or a little below a meter. Along with that, there was also Arthropleura, the millipede that grew up to 9 feet, or 2.7 meters long, and Pulmona scorpius, the scorpion that grew up to 70 centimeters, or 28 inches long. Early reptiles, like Hylonomus and Petrolachosaurus, developed as well, and reptiles kept evolving and growing throughout this period. The climate was generally warm and humid, with oxygen levels being very high at 35%, as opposed to the 21% we have today. At the end of the Carboniferous, the climate cooled, resulting in a significant ice age. Equatorial regions, however, stayed pretty warm. Basically everywhere on Earth, there were dense, swampy forests. Due to plant matter not decaying, a large amount of coal was formed. In fact, almost 90% of the coal we have today formed during the Carboniferous period. During this time, early continents started colliding to form the supercontinent Pangaea. Well, those were the good old days when millipedes were the size of cars and there was a lot more oxygen, coal was forming. Oh man, I miss the Carboniferous. Be sure to like and subscribe.